So you may have seen that I've stepped up a little bit. Um, I'm trying to uh, make this channel a little better. So uh, I got this white table to do reviews on, unboxings. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'll put this back a little bit. So the first thing that you see is a nice little button compass. And the reason why this is here is, uh, so say that you know like a certain city is like north of you. You just use this compass and uh, follow it straight because you might get off a little bit. Or you could uh, look at them. You could put this up to a map, like say, uh, say this piece of paper was a map, which it's not. You put it up to it, and you kind of follow it around. So the button compass. That is one thing out of the way. I'll put all the stuff down here where I have viewed. So this nail has multiple purposes. It has duct tape and fishing line. So. You all know what the duct tape is for. The fishing line, um, you're going to see. So just keep watching and you'll see what the fishing line is for. Okay. So the next thing we got is a mini Bic lighter. I like these. There we go. As you can see, mini Bic lighters are nice because they could fit in almost anything. And uh, you need a fire starter. I know this is not permanent. So, me, well, nothing's really permanent. You can just buy a whole bunch of them. Like, uh, I have a couple of magnesium fire, flint, uh, magnesium fire rods or whatever they're called. And I use those. Um, I don't really use this too much unless I can't make a fire with what I'm using. Okay, so this is some enamel copper wire. Copper wire and wire in general can be used to make snares and things of that matter. So I keep a little copper wire. Um, this is enough copper wire to catch very small animals. So you're not going to be caught going out there and catching anything big. You might get like a small rabbit or something. So I have that. Now these are kind of... Uh, the media has kind of showed them off. Um, these, all these first aid kits that have all this, uh, band-aids and stuff in it, that's not really going to help you. But I just put it in here for viewers, because, you know, sometimes viewers want something, they want to give something to somebody that, uh, they will think, oh, this is a nice survival kit, because if it doesn't have, like, band-aids in it, they're going to be like, what is that? So, the things I do like are these quick cleans, um, you can get these in cheap stuff so uh, if you need to wipe your hands off because you got something really really bad on you you could use this if you don't have water next to you so I have some quick cleans and then I'll take out the band-aids uh, alcohol prep pad more band-aids knuckle band-aids all band-aids of different sizes so let's just get these out of the way Okay, so I'll save this for last. I'll put this away. So I do have some cards in here. Um, you can write stuff down because, you know, pens are everywhere. Or you can find something to write down. So I have two pieces of paper. These are kind of card stock, so they last a little longer. Okay, so I have a Q-tip. Not really... There's uses for it, lots of uses. And then I have the fishing items that go with the fishing line. So these things together make up the fishing kit. This nail is also good for the fishing kit. Um, it's a really, really basic fishing kit. Fishing kit, let me just say fishing kit a hundred more times. So you have uh, some of these swivels. And uh, these are good to hook it up to the line. Um, I got a hook. Oh, it's not in the picture. Got a hook. And I got a couple different sizes of these weights to put on it. So, yeah, that's a little fishing kit. You're going to have the weights, or else it'll just float up and stuff. That's no good. 
So the thing that I save for last is this card multi-tool. The reason why I have this card multi-tool is because uh, it's like its own survival kit, basically. This plastic case is garbage, so we don't need this. Let's get this out of the way. And uh, so what it has is it has a knife. It has a serrated or I guess you could maybe use this for wood. Um, this is really good for breaking through like you have like belts or something like the mylar. I think it's no, it's not mylar, but you know what I'm talking about. We have two. I guess this could be a can opener, but this is a bottle opener. And we have these assorted uh, sized things. So that is the card. I'm going to cut a piece of paper up with the card so you can see how good it is. I could already tell you that you're not going to really use this that much. It's more of something for assurance because uh, this blade, it's in the most awkward position ever. So you got to go like this. Here, let me try to get in the video a little better. Okay, so. As you can see, it's not very good. Let's, uh, here, let's kind of make it from the bottom. Okay. I mean, it does okay. Um. A good alternative would to be to get a Swiss Army knife. Uh, the blade is a lot larger, and a Swiss Army knife is a little more expensive, but you're paying for quality because it's it's on survival kit too. It's got the toothpicks and the stuff like that. If you have any more recommendations for videos, please tell me because I would be interested in hearing that. Um, I may get to it, just uh, do that. And also, I would love for y'all to comment in the comment section about what y'all think could be added to this or changed to make this better. Because this is kind of a basic setup that I think will work for some people. It may not work for everybody, because, you know, some people, they can't have, like, blades. But somehow, my school allows you to, so, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. So, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all all later. So, bye.